This is now Erin's home and Erin's the homeowner and Erin has some really clear ideas on what she wants. It's about to be good. Uh, that flooring's gonna be in my next house. It's so urban farmhouse, I'm in love. The thing that drew us to this particular home was the land. And I don't blame her, it's just stunning. I'm just obsessed with that room. We went a little bit out there. It does feel a bit fancy now. Landscaping is often the forgotten child in any reno. The coping is different to the paver. It just makes it look smaller. And the transformation now, like we have everything we want now in a backyard. It's about to be Because we haven't had this outdoor entertaining space, we've spent many a Christmas, well, two Christmases in fact, lots of birthdays, family celebrations. We set up marquees on the grass here. So those days will be gone once we get this area and this can go back to being just a pool space. Now where that large plant up there is, I believe is where Nathan thinks he's gonna put the slide. I've been actually trying to convince Aaron that we were gonna get like an enclosed water slide. Like we're not just talking slippery dip by the way, he's talking about a fully enclosed, like a wet and wild, slide thing into the pool. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely put that in. We'll let him think it's going to happen for a while. So this room at the end of the house here is um, basically used as a sleepover room at the moment. This is our rumpus room. So new windows, that one's going, that one's going to be new, but all the walls will stay the same. This room is simply getting flooring and paint. So the other side of this wall here is the fifth bedroom at the moment. What we're doing there is we're converting it to the laundry. So it's going to be quite an oversized laundry. All right, so if we kind of move left in the house and we push on into Erin's favourite room in the whole entire house. maybe The laundry? The, maybe the world. <laughs> the world? The laundry. I reckon she'd rather go to her laundry than on a holiday. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so laundry and then again another room she loves, that closed in, this really is cocooning room lounge room yeah. for her. <laughs> okay, so what are we thinking laundry-wise? Laundry, well, I'm thinking... Looking at all the farmhouse images online and whatnot, there's always a checkered floorboard. Yeah. So, how do we change up a bit of a checkerboard? Yep. I'm thinking what you could do, like a nice big format, 30 by 30 or whatnot. Yeah. Could be on the diagonal or just square. Yeah. And introducing a smaller oh. checker. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so we could put I see, like on the corner. On the corner. Bang. Yeah. Bang. Repeated. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. I really, really kind of wanted to do the green. I'm kitchen. so with you. Yeah, we're there and we're there. That could be really beautiful. Could be beautiful. And I think it's important in here to repeat the stone Again. choice that we made. Because you in can the see it from the lounge yeah. room. Yeah. Yeah, got it. Okay. Oh, right. she's beautiful. She's nice. She's nice. Okay, so we're going from the laundry and then we see this huge room with huge ceilings. Let's go all the way, baby. Yeah, all the way. Bring and then, in. And do you think if we add some kind of detailing up that... Like an interim moment, some kind of... Yeah, something on the walls or something... Oh, even the ceiling, because then you, you can... want to bring that height, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Psychosomatic society Erin's laundry is in a great location. It's a nice size, it's a square shape. We're considering two options. I know you guys, certainly the barn style door. Yeah. So lines, it's got like a, like a line, it's a barn style door. Got it, got it. But there is one option to make it a cavity slider. Yeah, okay. Are there any pros and cons of either option that I'm not aware of? So if it was a cavity slider, yeah. we lose some laundry space because yeah. we cavity slide inside. We've got a wall here that we can put artwork on or something like that. If we're a barn, we sit outside, but the feature is the track. track I'm on the, the I, I vote exterior barn door. For Yay, sure, I bet you vote, and cavity. I yes. you vote cavity. You vote cavity. No, I started in cavity. I, I think the barn door, I think it's beautiful. I think when you slide this cavity, slide it closed, it doesn't have that look of it's, the barn it door. It would be, yeah, no, it wouldn't. All right, it's- I vote the, barn door. Yeah, exterior. you, barn and Lisa. Can you do that? <laughs> so we're gonna go with a beautiful Corinthian barn door. It's big and oversized and tall. All right, what's the next decision? Because right here. So this is not in the scope at the moment. 
So this is the room that um, we tossed up. Do we do glass doors? Do we do solid? I've decided on solid. It was really important to me to keep that separate and closed behind doors. I know Bond would have had it open and a walkthrough space, but um, again, it boils down to how do you live in your home? This one will be a parliament hinge, ideally. Is it called parliament? I didn't know it's that. It's an unusual I just called word it a, for it. A, a, a 180 one. hinge, yeah. <laughs> Someone needs to come up with a little around the waist thing to hold your laptop on. Baby yeah. Beyond for yeah. the laptop. That could be oh how God. I make Has my million. Been invented oh, yet? Can that? we invent that? For Three the job birds. site. For the job merch. site. Merch. Three birds merch. Hasn't this been invented no. before? Oh, Erin, it already exists. There it is. You know, they clearly haven't made it famous yet. We'll make it beautiful, because that's ugly. Yeah. That's the difference. We're going to make this pretty. First change, it's white. So air conditioning is something that no one ever wants to think about. It can really, really be an eyesore or you can hide it. So you've got to think about it early. It's also important to figure out where your internal vents will be placed in accordance to your furniture plan. So previously we had here and here, there's one yep. under there somewhere. Yeah. And that was just in the way because we put furniture here. Yeah. That always was in the way and I think it still will be. Yeah. Yeah, out here is definitely the place for them to go. Yeah, so as close as we can get it there. So Lance, the world of landscaping mm. we're about to embark on. Mm. One of the reasons Erin um, bought this house was for the beautiful existing pool and landscaped gardens around the pool. And I don't blame her, it's just stunning. Does she need new paving around the pool? Yes, definitely. Okay, so with these pavers though, I wanna get your opinion on this. This is where Bon and I are thinking at the moment. So see from the corner of the new alfresco uh, area where the oh, downpipe yeah. is? Yep, yeah. from so here. We're gonna hard surface, cause you wanna be able to get off that hard surface there onto another you hard surface. You don't wanna be grass, wet grass, wet feet. No, so I think we're gonna curve it. If you can imagine a curve coming around from you to me, and that will mean we've got quite a lot of hard surface here. And so just so I'm clear, Yep. This is the coping, and then the tile that we extend out there is the same. Yeah. It's so nice that we're continuing this coping out as the paver because yes. this is not what you want, where no. the coping is different to the paver, it just makes it look smaller. You're just so lucky with this pool. It's the most one of the most beautiful original pools. Yeah, put the doors and windows in. They're so good, aren't What's they? What's that window for? Uh, look, I think that window is for the garage. Ah, got That's you. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it's really nice. Well, it's, it's just the same as the others. Come to oh, think of it, the French one. That one's meant to have the bars. Oh, what happened? Oh no, it's not that it doesn't. Some of them are getting put in because if you come in here and have a look, girls, in the room out the back here. Oh, none of them. See how this doesn't have the bars because we wanted to let ourselves work out how far down we wanted it. There was um, uncertainty if this would be crisscross, the same as upstairs, or one bar, the same as this. So Lou said, can we wait? So the bars are here. So we were talking about the windows and I was so involved in this window conversation that my eyes were just up. And I kept walking towards the window and then boom. Oh, oh, oh wow. I'm down and I fell through an air vent hole in the floor. Okay, you right? Yeah. You right? There we go, up you get. Oh my god! Oh, the only hole in the ground. Oh, Is your leg okay? Oh my god. Did it get you? Oh, did just graze? a little bit. Oh. Just a bit on the, um, the cellulite saved me. Oh my god, thank god for cellulite. It was just a it shock. It was just there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, does laughing tell you my first thought of reaction? I know that's horrible. But I knew she wasn't injured. Like, I knew she hadn't, like, really properly injured herself. Oh, I like the drama. Yeah, she loved it. But luckily, my thigh became wide enough as it got to the top that it stopped me from falling through, you know, further. And I think Bonnie also grabbed me. Well, I, I, I was dead saved. weight. I saved I was her dead from weight. Heart. So in here, these, this is what we were kind of rolling with in here. This was called Bajula Spanish Olive. And I thought for sure, same as the kitchen, I thought we would definitely use this colour. 
but we're not, we're going with this colour and that's that still colour. You can see here we've got another, um, you know, green and then another green down below. They were just a little bit too lolly for the room and the space. So we wanted some grunt, we wanted some depth. We didn't want it to be too dark, but we still wanted some interest on these walls because in this space, this has got all interim detailing on the walls and the ceiling. We love to use in trim for a lot more than just your skirting and your architraves. We love to use their timber mouldings for detailing. The height of the ceiling was so incredibly amazing, we knew it was something that we wanted to draw, you know, the eye to. So, right. okay, these are the choices. We can either go centred between the edge of the light and the wall, smack yep. bang, yep. or we can actually push it ever so slightly this way. I feel like And you're going two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then how far apart? Like 200, 250. Are we talking? A bit further out. Maybe 300, go through. That's about 300 there. Yeah, that yeah. feels nice. I reckon that feels 300. Nice. You know I get it done. These features up the wall just make it look so much taller and so much grander. It does feel a bit fancy now. Erin's laundry, she has wanted to design for years. With the tiles in the laundry, we went a little bit out there. I absolutely love them. Most of the time, honestly, when we're living there, we'll have that beautiful barn door closed. Um, but we wanted to make sure that when the doors open, you're actually looking at something beautiful. I saw today that the higher washer and dryer have gone in. They were the perfect fit for this laundry. Because we have the black fixtures and fittings throughout the home, then we had to go with a black washing machine and dryer, so the higher combo was just perfect. outdoor space we have a couple of different zones we have what you can see here at the pool area we're taking off the waterline tile the blue tile that you can see around there um, and we also had some brick pavers here previously that god love him my husband spent weeks lifting he would come and do it in two and three hour stints um, but it saved a lot of money so it's a diy hack lift the pavers yourself it's hard work but it saves the money It's not a main feature of the home, that sort of rear underside, um, under the deck area, but it can be seen and walking down the back there, you're gonna be walking past it all the time. So I'm really glad we invested in making it look special. Now the um, artisan exterior stone is going on this wall here. It just ties it to the front of the house and it just makes it feel good. Yeah, the swimming pool is getting a makeover, definitely, but it's not a huge change. We're not changing the shape of the pool. We're not changing retaining walls or landscaping behind it. But what we are doing is refreshing the interior of a pool. And that happens a lot in renovating and it can make a world of difference.
All right, Ez. Yeah. Now, don't get excited. I mean, first of all, how amazing are these jars? <laughs> I love the jars. They're gorgeous. From Freedom, but... And they seal tight by the look of it. Yeah, they do, but yeah. um, this is the cheapest detergent you can okay. buy, so maybe... I'll stock it out. You know what? It's probably what I buy. I'll give it a go. It won't be what you buy. And look at these, Bon. These are very cute um, balls for your dryer. Oh. Um, from Akoya. So you have this beautiful... See, what have we got? Wild... Pear? Sage and citrus. I cannot read. And what, you put um, drops of that on there? Yep. Yeah, drop, drop, drop. Maybe a couple of drops? Chuck it in your dryer. And then throw it in. No, it's quite strong. Oh, is it? I don't think you need to put too much. Oh, oh yeah. Look, you might put more than one drop. Yeah, maybe but, um, more than one. Yeah, they're so good. And what, you just reuse them? Yes. Yes. How good are they? Growing restless in the Well, the lounge room has changed significantly, but it is purely cosmetic. Mm. Those four walls were all there. We changed the door slightly, but we already had the beautiful high ceiling to work with. Oh, the big window. Ripper room. I think that Dulux still gives that room, along with the interim detailing, that personality it needed. Yeah. It gives it that architectural feel and that green. I think it's one of my favourite rooms because of that enveloping in the green and with the furniture choices. Yeah. I love oh, yeah. that green sofa just from yeah. end to end. I just want to like hide away and sit in that space. It's enormous and it's so comfortable. Yeah. It is like you could sleep on the MCM lounge. Oh. The MCM furniture is spectacular. It is. Because you know I'm a comfort person. Yes. As well as what looks nice. So we could nail both. It was great to have kind of an easy mm. part of the Renault to do. That's the goal when you're renovating is mm. as much of it cosmetic, please, yes, yes. Because it's going to cost way less money. So yeah. Yeah. that room is just, as yeah. I said, it's a ripper, yeah. So where the laundry is now, that was actually our fifth bedroom. So that exact space, the exact footprint was the bedroom downstairs. That was the dungeon. And it just That was a small feel... room. And as you've always wanted a beautiful laundry, I know mm. you have, because from houses ago you'd often talk about, oh, when I do my house yeah. I want this type of a laundry. How do you feel it's come together? What were the key elements that you wanted to see in that laundry that we've done? So I wanted to have a space that I could feel really comfortable in. Wanted the light to come through. So the laundry, often with laundries, you, you don't have a lot of light streaming in. You've got and to create that, and the that space. And that room prior was very dark. Yeah, that room yeah. there just had one window. Um, so what we've now, we've opened it up. We've got the glass door. Yeah. We've also got light coming in from the living space as well. Yeah. But I love the little black diamonds on the floor. Yeah, the yeah, tiles. Yeah, the tiles For are gorgeous. For me, I feel as though it gives it a like a oh, feeling yeah. like it's been here a long time. Not yes. like oh, it's a brand new laundry. Yeah. I feel like no, it's an old worldly laundry. Yeah. But like totally operates like it's brand new. Yeah. Yeah, and where the laundry is now works so it, it's so much better for the floor plan and the flow. So we have got the door that goes out to the side. So we built a little balcony out there. We'll have the flip up clothesline, the rubbish bins around the side. Yeah. What I really wanted to do in my laundry was to make sure my washing machine and dryer were elevated. Yeah. So what we've got is, we've got the beautiful high out washer dryer, they're black. I love their color. Like I just love the black yeah. and then the pops yeah. of black everywhere else the pop in the tiles, mm -hmm. the tapware, the, tap the, the hanging rod, the handles. Oh yeah, the hanging rod. It's yeah. so cool, yeah. you know, it really ties in. It does. And the big sliding barn door. Yeah, yeah, that was that was, that was was to add a feature to the outside of it. Mm. Also, yeah, so that when, because you do see it from the main living space, so it had to look nice. It's just a beautiful space. The pool area and cabana area were mm. purely cosmetic. Mm -hmm. You know, like I can't believe how lucky we were here with the landscaping. Yeah, the fact that your pool is in the right spot. Yeah, it had everything going yeah, for it. All it gardens. needed, all it needed was like a little a, a makeover, 
and the makeover with the paving has significantly changed it. The, the pavers for outside were one of the very first things that we picked yeah. and it really then helped set the stone for, set, set, set the stone, <laughs> set the tone yeah. for everything else that came after that, didn't it? The waterline mm. has changed, so all we did yeah. was the waterline. The, the waterline tiles. Yeah, the waterline yeah. tiles, yeah. the paving and then we painted the cabana still again. Yeah, yeah, yeah still. the colour still. So the existing pool fence that we had didn't comply. Because when this house was built, um, you know, love all the privacy, but all of the trees along my fence line meant that I couldn't use my boundary fence as a pool fence. Yeah. So hence had to encase the whole pool, which is an expensive exercise um, for any size pool, and it's a decent sized pool. So yeah. I'm so glad we went with half glass and half black aluminium. So with the black aluminium up the back, you know, half the yeah. price of the glass, but it just blends. It, it would have looked funny if we did glass actually the whole way. It, it looks better than glass, it really yeah. does, you, because it just, got it's a hidden. maybe? Yeah. Or like, you know, it's It's so absolutely hidden. It's a perfect choice. And then you've yeah. got the glamour at the front. And yeah. it looks yeah. amazing. And I just love the colour we chose for the exterior, the yeah. grey port by Dulux for the painted brick, and also the atrium. Yes. Uh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it is beautiful. What I love about Grey Port is it goes so well with um, warmer tones. So with all the stone that we've got here, they are mm. slightly warmer tones. So it works It works perfectly with it. And with the black windows, the yeah. black window yeah. trims, it's yeah. really nice. Yeah, they're the best. Yeah, and the transformation now, like we have everything we want now in a backyard. We have the pool, we've got a beautiful grass to area, which is a great size for our kids being teens. A cabana for them to hang out in, mature gardens, and the tennis court is a bonus. It's not something we were looking for. We're very, very grateful to have it. And the way we have created everything that was here with the backyard to flow into a much bigger alfresco space. Yes. So this indoor outdoor living is just mm. absolutely sensational. I mean, mm. is you've got the perfect backyard. I'm gonna have a tennis tournament on there soon, if you wanna come. Oh yeah, uh, PSI okay. used to be very good at tennis. Oh, here we go. Were you in the McDonald's squad for tennis? No, I was oh, we um, a ball girl once. We were. Okay, well, I won't give you my credentials. <laughs> so when you walk into a, a main bedroom, you don't usually walk in to the wardrobe. It's not traditional, but I chose to carpet the landing. This is my favourite room in the whole house, yeah. just this. Yeah, I would say the ensuite was probably the hardest one that we've ever done. If we don't write this down correctly, <laughs> I, I can so see us getting it wrong. But yeah. they led to a little boo-boo, so more to come on that.